Hey guys, welcome back to another JavaScript tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make gravity in your top-down movement game. Now what do I mean by top-down game is like, you don't have any gravity, you're not falling down like I am right now. You're just moving left, down, up and right. Now, perhaps you want to create jumping mechanics and you want to have gravity. We're going to be going over in this video, so let's begin with uh, the tutorial. So, first thing that you want to do is, let's just create a very, very simple interval using gravity. So, we want to create a function and then we want to go gravity. And basically, we just want to set the velocity y plus equal 0. Point, let's just go 0 0.05, something like that for now. So, we just get an idea on how fast we want to fall. So now you can see we fall, and that's great and all, but we're kind of falling through the border. We, we don't want to do that. Um, so what, you want, what we want to do is we want to check if we are on the border. So we want to check if our Y is greater than the border. If it is, we want to stand on it. So let's go into our update function, and let's just create, or let's call a function called collision. And now let's go and create one. Let's just put it above our update fun up when we call the update function. So function collision. And we just want to check if the y is greater or equal to the canvas dot height. And if it is greater than that, then we want to set our y to equal the canvas dot height minus 100 and we just want to put minus 100 up here as well and now you'll find that we hit the border and we stop but here's a new problem right we sink through the border why is this happening it's a very simple explanation um that's because we are continuously plusing our velocity y by a 0 0.05 to fix this, very simple solution is just to check whether it's whether the player is grounded on the bottom canvas. Now, to do this, when we are touching the bottom canvas, because we've already created a collision for it, we just want to, first let's actually create another variable, it's called let grounded equal false. And we just want to make it so that when we are touching the bottom border of the canvas, we want to make our grounded equal true. Now, what we want to do is we want to go into our gravity function, or our interval function, and we want to check if the grounded is false. That's the only, then that's the only time that we want to actually go down or initiate the gravity, because if the gravity is continuously going, we just slip through the border, and it's not very, uh, doesn't seem right, you know? So if the if our grounded is false, if we are basically in the air, that's the only time we want to uh, move down or have gravity. So now you can see our slipping through the border is no longer a problem. But when we try and jump, what is this? This just doesn't look right. I mean, we have gravity, but now we can defy all gravity in physics. Um, but we want to fix this. So obviously, we want to go into our input handler and. We won't be needing the moving down anymore, since uh, with gravity, I mean, you can't really move down. Gravity does that for you. So, what we want to do is that when we press W, we want to make our grounded equal false. And that should just about fix the problem that we're having. So, now when we like go and play the game, what would happen is that when we jump in the air, as you can see, we now return back down, but when I press W and let go over quickly, see that? It kind of goes down very fast. To fix this, we just have to get rid of this in the key up listener. And now, look at that. But I can now hold down W and I just continue flying. We, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We, when we press W, we want to check whether we're grounded or not. So let's put these in some brackets. And let's just go if the uh, grounded equals true, pretty much. Oops. So if the ground is equal to true, then that's the only time we want to initiate any of these lines of code in here. And that should just about be it. 
So now we can jump. And that's it. Just like that. Now we don't have much jumping. We don't have much jump power, I guess you'd say. So let's just make this um, 10, maybe. And now if we go here and we go and jump, it jumps very high. But it returns very slowly. This is more like moon gravity or somewhat similar to it. So to fix this, I guess we could almost just uh, change the velocity y. So well, let's just format this real quick so it looks a little bit neater. Let's go uh, plus it by 0.1. That might be a bit better. So yeah, now we got, look at that, got way better. So we can jump, and it's a lot more Earth-like jumping and gravity. So that's a very basic gravity tutorial for your game. It doesn't take long. should only take a minute and 30 seconds, really. But since I was explaining, it took a little bit longer. But hopefully you guys now know how to do collision and gravity. Hopefully you get an idea on how to do these things. Um, I hope this didn't seem too complex. If it did, and you don't understand anything... Just put it in the comments down below, and I will try and get to you as soon as I can, but we'll see how that goes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, or just leave a comment, however is easiest, but I'll see you guys in the next video.